I want to bring in News Nation contributor Elizabeth Vargas. Uh, a lot to dive into here. These men, so they, they live stream the bogus calls for entertainment or bragging rights, but it's such a waste of police resources, especially uh, with people needing emergency services. So what do police and law enforcement do? I mean, how do they combat this? Well, the FBI in 2020 issued an alert saying, guys, everybody out there who has a ring camera, please check your passwords, make sure they're secure and not easily accessed. So this problem has been happening for some time. And as you just pointed out and your reporter just pointed out, this is an incredible waste of police resources at a time when police are feeling overwhelmed at, you know, by rising crime rates in some cities to have to take the time to respond to a bogus call and then endure being taunted by some, you know, these two guys that you're seeing up there right now um, who've been charged with uh, allegedly you know, setting this whole thing up and swatting these, these people and drawing the police there with some bogus emergency. It's the kind of video, to be honest, Adrian, that we would put on my show iCrime uh, and then point out on the, on the show that it's a crime and these two people have been charged with serious crimes. And it's the kind of crime that's obviously growing. If, if police are issuing this alert, uh, FBI is issuing this warning, this is something that's on the rise. More and more people have these ring cameras and people notoriously you know, use the same password for multiple accounts, multiple devices, and those passwords can be hacked. Yeah, it's important uh, to change your passwords regularly, look at your security features. But uh, these calls, apparently they call 911 and they say, oh, it's a, a murder scene, there are bombs in the home, a child is in danger. So it's not just a privacy, it, privacy issue, but it's a safety issue if police respond to these homes and think that they need to use lethal force. So what does ring security have to say or, or would they need to do anything to step in? Because really it's the email accounts that are getting access to the ring accounts. Ring certainly should be warning its customers and should be doing everything possible because you are absolutely right. A SWAT team responding to a report of a, of a homicide and rigged explosives in a house, they are going to come full force. And if the homeowner happened to be home at that point or the homeowner happened to walk up at that point, they could be viewed uh, with great suspicion and could be at danger. You're talking officers with guns drawn arriving to the scene of a potential very, very serious, the most serious you can think of, crime. This is, this is not a victimless crime. This is not just some prank. This is serious stuff. Um, setting aside the, the waste of police resources and the waste of police time and the absolute inappropriateness of that behavior, you're putting civilians at risk. You're putting ordinary people at danger. If you have a SWAT team responding with guns drawn to a report of a serious crime and they're there on the scene, uh, you know, they're very lucky, these two, these two young men who have been accused of this crime, that something worse hasn't happened. Yeah, seriously. And one of them is a repeat offender. So perhaps uh, judges and, yeah, and court systems. There, no yeah. surprise there. Yeah. I mean, exactly. people, and we're seeing more of this. I mean, we see hacking everywhere. As your reporter just pointed out, we're seeing hacking and Twitter, all sorts of social media accounts. This is more serious. Uh, and law enforcement needs to take it serious. And, 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 you know, honestly, the penalties and the crimes involved in this probably should be upgraded. This is a really serious crime. It needs to be stopped. Elizabeth Vargas, thank you for your time and happy new year to you if we don't talk. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.